The Dr. Ray Podcast is a co-production of Ave Maria Radio and EWTN Radio. Here's today's monologue with Dr. Ray Gurendi. You've heard people say that they have a lot of questions they want to ask God if they get to heaven. Why this, why that? Things they want to understand that they simply cannot understand now because they're so limited in the way that our brain works. We're just incredibly limited. You don't have infinite minds. And some people will say, no, I don't have any questions. I'll just be so, so ecstatic to be in the presence of the Lord that that will take care of every single need that I have. And that's true. That is true. There's no question about that. That's, that's always been understanding. I have a question. More of a, a wonder. When we pray to God, we pray as though we're praying to a being who is hearing us. Now, at any given second around the world, there are millions of people praying to this being. And the church teaches that God can take into account the factors involved in someone being the way they are. The church says uh, the blameworthiness of someone's conduct is known only to God. So he weighs everything. He weighs everything perfectly. The kid who is raised without a dad and and with a mom who is a drug addict and who by age 14 gets involved in the streets and meets a very quick end at age 17, who never paid attention to God, who never even thought about God, who never even knew about God, who never even was exposed in any serious way to belief, God takes that into account. He's not going to judge Ray Garendi the same way he judges that young man. All right, here's my question. I want to know, well, like, like it's my right to know, but if possible, I would like to know. God, how do you do that? How is it? Now, I know, I know, I know, I know people are going to say, he's infinite. Infinite can do anything. Yeah, I know that. That's that's the that's the generic answer. He's infinite. But I want to know exactly how that infinity plays out. How is it? I guess this would be my question. God, that you know the thoughts and the reason behind those thoughts. And the neurological structure in every single person's trillions of brain cells involved in those thoughts. And which ones are damaged and which ones aren't damaged. So that when dementia kicks in, for example, you know which ones are causing that person to do things that would be viewed as perhaps sinful. You must, at any given exact moment in time be totally and completely aware of every single person's brain in the world we estimate there are 7 to 8 billion with a B people in the world In any single nanosecond, that's 1 times 10 to the minus 9 seconds. It's one of the things I remember from physics when I paid all that money to remember that from physics. I could have looked it up on the Internet. Well, back then, when I was in college, we just had an abacus. That's all we had. And we were grateful children. But I digress. At any given nanosecond... Dear God, how, how is it that you are completely, totally aware of everyone and all of the neurological signals in each person's brain, which now you multiply the 7 billion people in the world by trillions and trillions because that's how many <laughs> neurological cells there are in the brain, 
And they're firing at any given moment. And the soul has to play upon those cells, kind of like it plays upon a piano. So, I just would be so curious. Maybe it's because I'm a shrink. How do you do that? How is it? Now, God may look at me and just simply say, Raymond, it's sufficient for you to know I'm infinite, and that's the answer you're going to get. And I, maybe I'll be. He's God. He can give me whatever answer he wants. But I sure would be curious to know how is it that you can do that? More of Dr. Ray's Manologues can be found on his website, drray.com. Manologues, as well as full-length programs of The Doctor Is In, can be heard at AveMariaRadio.net and EWTN.com slash radio.